question on the member for Wentworth. Thank you, Speaker. And thank you to the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition for your moving words, and both of you for coming to, where, to our community at one of the most horrible times of our, of our time. Thank you also to the local Mayor um, and also the members for Vaucluse and Coogee, who were members that I was very proud to work alongside during that, those, that terrible week. Everyone in my community knows where they were on the afternoon of Saturday, April the 13th. At home, at the beach, it was a beautiful afternoon. Maybe heading up the coast for school holidays or in Bondi Junction, where so many of us find ourselves on any given weekend, going to the movies, doing the weekly shop, buying a birthday present or just running an errand. Just the normal Bondi Junction sort of thing. But the tragedy of that day wasn't anything but normal, and we are still trying to come to terms with it. The grief and the trauma will sit with our community for a long time. Every one of us could have been there themselves. Every one of us knows someone who was there. Every one of us had that chilling moment of not knowing if their loved ones were safe. There were many who witnessed terrible trauma, who were injured on that awful afternoon. And six families are bearing the tragic, unbearable loss that any of one of us could have faced. Their hearts are heavy with loss and grief, a burden that cannot be lifted with words or deeds. Their loved ones were like hundreds of other people at Westfield that day. A mum out with their little baby, an artist running an errand, an architect buying a birthday present, a recent migrant to Australia trying to earn money for his family back home, a student celebrating the end of exams, a bride-to-be, preparing for a very special day. All Australians see ourselves or someone we love in that snapshot. Those brief descriptions don't do justice to those who we have lost. They cannot be re reduced to a phrase. Simple words can't capture their souls, their lives, their complexities and joys. They were loved, they were cherished. These people were their loved ones' whole world, and that will not change. They were Ashley Good, Dawn Singleton, Faraz Tahir, Jade Young, Pikria Dacia, and Yi Shan Cheng. And we are desperately sorry for their loss. The word I heard most often in the days that passed was senseless. It was an act without sense, without reason, purely destructive of life and love. But as a community, we cannot let that word, senseless, be the last word. In the words of Ashgood's family, as her loved ones come to terms with her immeasurable loss, they celebrate the positive legacy of her 38 years, her practice of gratitude, her diligence and discipline, but most of all, her selfless dedication and care for her loved ones, as demonstrated in her final act as a mother. We must celebrate the positive legacies of those we have lost, the difference in the world that we create, that they created, the joy and the love, the people they cared for, the memories that will be cherished. We must also hold on to the heroism and kindness that so many showed on the day in which the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition have articulated so beautifully. For there was one person who sought to do terrible harm, but there were hundreds who did everything they could to protect others, to provide comfort and care in the darkest hour. Like Inspector Amy Scott, who is a local and national hero. Like the Bollard men, Damien Giroux and Solas de Pro, and others in the shopping centre who risked their lives. Like the retail workers who sheltered and comforted the public like the first responders and the healthcare workers who turned up at St Vincent's and others not on their shift just because they thought they might be needed and they wanted to be there. We must hold on to the care and support our community gave each other in the days and weeks after that tragedy, in the solemn coming together of laying of flowers, of the candlelight vigil and of just of the support and care that each people showed. 
And finally, we must heed the words of Jade Young's mum. She said, on a personal level, I want Jade's girls to grow up believing there is security, goodness and love in the world. But on another level, I want politicians, both federal and state, to address the gaps in mental health care to make for a safer world for our girls and all Australians. As parliamentarians, I know we can't always stop the awful things that happen in our wonderful country, even though I believe every one of us wants to. Nothing we can do will bring those beautiful people back. But we can use our heads and our hearts to honour Jade Young's mum's words. We can and we must. There were six people whose beautiful lives were cut short that day. They mattered and their memories are up to all of us to honour. The whole community, the whole country and everyone in this place is sorry for their loss.